What's up, you guys? Brandon Kibler up with another review on the Food Talk Real Talk YouTube channel. Sorry if my face looks a little busted up. I just had a long workout, so it is what it is. But I was going through Ralph's, a grocery store in California, and I came across some <laughs> limited edition Pop-Tarts again. But uh, limited edition Jolly Rancher Pop-Tarts. Now, I'm not trying all three, um, unfortunately. And eh, no, I may. But if this one goes well, I'll try the other ones. But there are three flavors. This one right here is the watermelon. Right there. And then there was cherry and sour apple. Now, sour apple kind of threw me off. I was like, that could either be really, really bad or surprisingly good. And then the cherry, I kind of just expected it to taste like a shitty pie. Um, so I went for the uh, watermelon. So I got one. Just like last time, I got one heated, and I got one dry. So we're going to go with the heated one first. Now, the watermelon Jolly Ranchers, I mean, they taste really good. They're sweet. Sometimes there's like that tart flavor to it. Um, so we'll see how this works out. I'm, I'm, I'm tasting it with full expectations to taste like crap. So I'll be happy if it tastes good. Look at that. That's called toasted right there for you. All right, give it a try. Mm. It definitely has the. This is not weird. But you know when you put the when you put a Jolly Rancher in your mouth and it has that almost like a plastic like aroma to it, it definitely has that. So they got the Jolly Rancher aroma. Mm. And flavor wise, it's not that bad. I mean, not that bad. Um, that was the heated one. Now we'll do a dry one. The dry one, it just tastes like a pastry. The flavor doesn't really come across. Um, if you really want to get the flavor and actually taste the watermelon Jolly Rancher experience, I recommend heating it. The watermelon flavor, it comes across a little bit, but for the most part, it just tastes like a pastry with some flavoring. Nothing crazy. When you heat it, though, you definitely get that Jolly Rancher flavor to it. So, I'll give it two grades. From the aspect of it tasting like it's supposed to, amazing. It tastes like a Jolly Rancher is supposed to. The aroma's there, the flavor's there, um, it almost is better because it's not getting stuck in my teeth. There's a plus there. Um, would it be something that I would get on a regular? Would I recommend someone to go get it? No. <laughs> it just, it doesn't, it's not in my amazing, have, I'm gonna go get that, you know? Um, from the Pop-Tart spectrum, my favorite's the brown sugar and the s'mores. Um, so is it in that level? No. But the flavor is there, if that sounds Right, I mean, it tastes like it's supposed to taste. It tastes exactly what it's supposed to taste like. If it's heated, if it's dried, it tastes like a pastry. So, that's my take on that. Limited edition Pop-Tarts, Jolly Rancher, <laughs> watermelon flavor. Maybe we will go with the other ones. That didn't, oh, it didn't gross me out, so we're good. Brandon Kibler, like, comment, subscribe. If it's new, if it's delicious, if it's bad, Whatever it may be, we'll give it a try. Thanks for watching. It's the Food Talk Real Talk YouTube channel. Later.